guys, I just wanted to get back with you and talk to you about squats. It's one of the best movements that you can do to develop the glute muscle in addition to strengthening the hamstring muscle and developing the quad, quadricep muscle. So for us ladies, it's the lady parts, the glutes, hamstrings, and the quads. So I know that there are a lot of people with injuries either to their knees or hips or possibly to the IT band. So we're gonna talk about all of that as well. So let me show you and demonstrate what an actual air squat is and why we do them. So an air squat is going to be a full range of motion you want to activate the entire hamstring from the very top, where the glute and the hamstring meet, to the very bottom, where it connects to the back of the knee. In addition, you also want to activate the entire quadricep muscle from the very top all the way to the top of the knee. In order to do that, you have to go all the way down in your squat. That is what develops your glute muscles. If you're just doing a half squat, you never engage hamstring or quad. It's just the hips only that are moving. What I mean by a full squat is you're going to go all the way down, hip crease, below the knee, on your way up, you're going to push your knees out, that way you keep your knees nice and safe, your IT bands stays nice and safe, you're going to stand, and most importantly, squeeze the glutes at the top. Every single time you squat and you come up, you should squeeze the glutes, that'll really develop it nicely. So to put this in like a repetition, down, push the knees out, stand and squeeze. Also, most importantly, a lot of people when they have tight hamstrings, they'll initiate their squat with their knees first and then their hips. That just puts a tremendous amount of pressure on your knees. So give this a try. Send the butt back first, then down, stand, squeeze. Butt, down, push those knees out, stand, squeeze. Give that a try, especially if you have knee soreness from doing traditional squats. See if that makes a difference for you. So if you have knee injuries, come on over here. This might be a place for you to start. So if you have a box, maybe a chair or a couch that you can squat to, same sort of movement. You're gonna push your glutes back, go all the way down. Do not relax, keep everything engaged. Push the knees out, stand and squeeze. So same third sort of thing. Push the knees out, stand, and squeeze. And by the way, when where my feet are placed are right underneath my shoulders, so just a little bit wider than hip width. If that is not feeling good on knee injuries, let's say you have arthritis or some sort of major knee injury or perhaps a knee replacement, come on over here and I'll show you another way to do this. This will completely take the pressure off your knees and transfer it into your glutes. So you're just gonna take a ball, even a kid's sports ball would work just fine. Take your feet out, about shoulder width apart, arms are gonna go out for counterbalance, and you're gonna push your weight back into that ball. You can play around with your, your feet placement, depending on how your knees feel, and then you're just sliding down the wall, letting that ball roll up and down your back. Squeeze at the top, just like you would on a normal air squat. Go as low as comfortable, all the way down if you're able. Squeeze at the top. Most importantly, always squeeze. When you're going upstairs, every time you take a step, squeeze the glute. That'll make a huge difference in your glute development. Hope that helps you. Have a great day. I'll be back with you soon.